Hi guys, this is iPhone's 15 Pro Max. And I noticed a few differences from the new 15 Pro Max versus the 13 Pro Max that I have had before. So the first difference I noticed was the difference in the color blue that iPhone chose. So for my old phone, the 13 Pro Max, when I ordered it as a blue phone, iPhone delivered a somewhat light sky blue. When I ordered the 15 Pro Max, still choosing iPhone's blue, their blue this time is a, a, a midnight blue, a darker blue. That was the first difference I noticed. Also, I noticed a difference in the weight of the phones. The 13 Pro Max weighs about 8.4 ounces. I never thought my phone was a heavy phone until I got the new 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max. And there's a noticeable difference in the weight. If I hold them, it's a, it's a noticeable difference. This is a much lighter feel for people who want light phones. And then inside the box, this is the case for the 15 Pro Max. The only thing that comes inside your case is your phone and one lightning cable. So they give you a lightning cable. It's the USB-C attachment, not the USB-A attachment. So it's the speed charging attachment piece, but they don't give you a wall adapter, just the attachment piece and a phone. Next, I noticed there's a big difference in battery life. When I got the 15 Pro Max, the battery life was about 78, 79%. That was on Friday evening. I haven't charged the phone since, and now it's Sunday morning, and my battery life is at 37%. So it seems like the battery life is pretty good. I haven't charged it one time, and it, it still lasted me the whole time. Next, I noticed a big difference in the camera quality. On the 15 Pro Max, they put this new theme for people who like to take pictures like me. If you go to the portrait mode, now you have the f-stop. For people who take pictures, the f-stop determines how blurry the background is. They call it the bokeh, how blurry or in focus. So you can stop down to about, you can go all the way down to 1.4 which if you were to use an expensive camera and an expensive lens, going down to 1.4 to take pictures, that could be a uh, thousand plus dollars camera lens to get a 1.4 aperture. They included that here. Now they don't have a shutter speed for people who take professional pictures, but clearly there, there's no shutter. They can't give you a shutter speed, but it is nice that they have an f-stop now. So those are some of the differences and the features I've noticed switch it from my 13 Pro Max to the iPhone 15 Pro Max.